Good afternoon. I'd like to thank everybody for being here. First and foremost, welcome Governor Cuomo back to Oswego and welcome uh, for the first time, I believe, uh, Attorney General Tish James. Let's give her a round of applause again. And we're also joined by uh, some local elected officials, uh, county legislators Frank Castilia, Dan Farfalia, and Tim Stahl. Thank you for being here. Our county administrator, Phil Church. Port of Oswego Board Chair Amy Tresseter, SUNY Oswego President Deborah Stanley, Executive Director of Operation Oswego County Michael Treadwell, and the Executive Director of the Greater Oswego Fulton Chamber of Commerce, Katie Toomey. Thank you all for being here. So as always, it's a pleasure to have Governor Cuomo here today. It's always good news when the governor stops in to uh, Oswego. He's been here several times in the last uh, couple of years, and, and I know I speak on behalf of the entire Oswego community uh, when I say thank you. Uh, we appreciate the support that the governor has shown not only the city of Oswego, but all of upstate New York. I think it's extremely hard to argue that there has not been a governor more friendly, devoting more resources to upstate New York than Governor Cuomo. And you have to look no further than Oswego to see the results of his commitment to upstate. From the $10 million downtown revitalization initiative in 2016, 11 of the 12 projects coming off of the ground, Oswego already looks different. It feels different. We have more confidence than we've had in decades here, and it's all thanks um, to Governor Cuomo. We also have several waterfront development projects going on thanks to his support uh, to the city of Oswego, and we're prepared to capitalize on the uh, READY application where the governor has stepped up uh, and to help us and allocate resources to deal with the high water and not only repair some of what some of the damage the high water's done, but he's committed to building back our waterfront better than ever before, and that's part of what we're here to talk about uh, today, and we just appreciate his continued commitment to highlight Oswego. Uh, today, uh, Governor Cuomo is going to talk about how crucial of a component Lake Ontario is to our and his economic development strategy. Not only is the lake an incredible tourist attraction, but it also has some of the best fishing the state has to offer, as we saw here today. Lake Ontario is a key driver of economic growth, and under the governor's leadership, I know we will continue to move our economy forward. So I want to thank the governor again for coming out to the city of Oswego. Thank you for all your support, uh, governor, to date. Uh, and once again, welcome to the city, and thank you for being here. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it is a pleasure to be back in Oswego. And let's give uh, the mayor a big round of applause, because he's doing a great job. He is exactly right. Uh, Oswego has a different feel. There's a growth. There's an energy. There's an optimism that people haven't felt in a long time. Uh, and a big part of that is his leadership. He was very kind and gracious in acknowledging that the state has been a more energized partner than ever before. Uh, we get the needs of upstate New York, and we're delivering. But it doesn't work without local leadership that brings it all together. And Mayor Barlow is bringing it all together. So let's give another round of applause. We have been talking for a long time about uh, the lake level and the record lake level. And uh, we've been uh, jousting, let's say, with the uh, IJC. Uh, I want to thank the members of the legislature who are here for being 100 percent supportive. Uh, and the state has been speaking with one voice. Uh, and I want to thank the assemblymen uh, for being here, and Patty Ritchie and Will Barkley. Uh, we're united, and we are committed to defending the state of New York's interests vis-a-vis -vis the IJC and the flooding. Uh, you know, their job is to control the level of the lake. That's their job. And I understand it's complicated. A lot of us have complicated jobs. But uh, the level has again hit flood levels. We just went through this two years ago. And we're right back where we were two years ago. Uh, and they have to address it. Uh, in the meantime, since we are New York, we're not just going to sit back and wait for the IJC. We are proactive. Two years ago, we spent about $100 million to do emergency repairs, right? Because two years ago, this was a once-in-a-500-year event. It was never going to happen again. 
Uh, so we spent about $100 million, which is a lot of money, and we repaired, rebuilt the damaged homes, facilities from the flooding. Two years later, we're right back to where we were. So we're taking a smarter, longer-term approach this time. Uh, we call it the Resiliency and Economic Development Initiative, REDI, where the state is committed $300 million not just to repair on an emergency basis, but assume the flooding is going to occur again, okay? That uh, this is not the last high level. And let's assume that this is a new normal, and let's build to deal with that new normal, resiliency and economic development. $300 million is a lot of money, uh, but the legislature uh, agreed that, look, we can spend $100 million every time there's an emergency and do that every two years, or we can actually invest $300 million and make the situation more resilient and do more economic development at the same time. So that's what we're doing. And the way we're doing it, uh, I think, is smart. We have state funds, but we're looking to the local leaders to tell us what to do, what investments they want, how to spur economic development in their regions, in their city, uh, what's the smartest strategy going forward. And we're in the middle of that process now, and it's going very well. Uh, so we're doing everything we can on that level. But there's another story that is not as uh, often told. Lake Ontario and the assets, assets in upstate New York in this region are second to none second to none, uh, and tourism is way up, and it's a big economic generator, uh, but the Attorney General and I were on the boat talking about, you have 50 million people who come to New York City every year, 50 million to see New York. You can come see New York City, but that's only half the story. Come upstate and look at what we have in upstate New York, and all we have to do is expose it. Once somebody is exposed to upstate New York, they come back because it is incredible what we have. From the history and the geography, the new wineries that have created a whole new industry, uh, and Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is a masterpiece. Uh, we get people internationally who come to fish at Lake Ontario. Now, we happen to have high water. We happen to have something else one of the best fishing seasons that we have had in years. Uh, and it is beautiful, and it is productive, and it is a great, fun day. And we can tell you that firsthand because the Attorney General and I just went out and we had a fun day. The name of the boat was Instead of Working, <laughs> which was a little unfortunate, but it was, it was Instead of Working. Uh, and I want to thank Captain Kevin Keller from uh, Fish Chopper, who was the captain of the boat. We had a jurisdictional dispute on the boat. Who was actually in charge is a governor higher than a captain. Uh, the captain won because we were in federal water, so technically it was outside of my jurisdiction. Uh, but Kevin Keller and uh, Eric Berger, who was the first mate, let's give them a round of applause. They were great. We have two beautiful fish. I know what I'm going to eat tonight, uh, two beautiful king salmon. And the weather could not have been nicer, and the day could not have been more pleasant. Uh, and, you know, uh, I love the water, and I say to people all the time, you spend a couple of hours on the water, and it changes your whole perspective. You know, it's like you've been uh, on vacation for a week. Uh, and that's what this was. And uh, we just have to get the word out about what we have here. And we have to get more people to experience it. Because the more people who see it, the more people will come. Uh, so in the midst of what we're dealing with, we want to promote tourism upstate New York, especially around Lake Ontario, because of the situation and the hardship that has been created. And the state is going to do a number of things to increase and incentivize tourism in the area. Uh, first of all, we're going to waive the fishing license fee on Lake Ontario 
from now until Labor Day. Uh, so people don't have to worry about the burden, the headache of going and getting a fishing license. There will be no fishing license required on Lake Ontario from now until after Labor Day. The <laughs> we have 20 state parks in this region, the Lake Ontario region, which are magnificent. The admission price to the state parks will be cut by 50%, and the camping fees will also be cut by 50% as an added incentive to bring people to come up and actually see what we have here. And we believe that's going to be very effective. <laughs> we are going to uh, invest another $5 million in the Salmon River Hatchery which is doing an extraordinary job, and it has been producing, in part, the great uh, hatchery and, and species that we now have in the lake. Uh, so I think that's an investment in the, in the hatchery that will reap dividends uh, for the investment, so for the economy. So we're going to do that with DEC. We're also announcing uh, $75,000 in grants to Sodas Point, Sandy Pond, uh, which will, uh, and the St. Lawrence Chamber of Commerce for ecotourism, because that is a growing market. Uh, all the data shows it, and all the anecdotal experience shows it. So we're going to be doing that also. Uh, and we're going to expand the I Love New York campaign to run and add all across the state, all across the Northeast, and in Canada, our prime tourism market that focuses just on Lake Ontario. And we'll show you that ad now. This summer, come to Lake Ontario for lots of family fun. With free fishing through Labor Day and half off camping at state campgrounds, Plan your Lake Ontario adventure at ILoveNY.com. Great. And that is going to start running literally uh, now, and uh, that's going to be part of our effort just to tell the story and show people. Uh, you know, you have so many people in this region, and uh, they, they spend a lot of money. Tourism is, is big business. Uh, and they go many different directions, and our point is very simple. Look north. Go north. You're looking for a fantastic vacation that is affordable, uh, that is family-friendly. Go north. Look at upstate New York. Look at Lake Ontario, uh, and especially now for Lake Ontario, given the situation that we have. So between the long-term reconstruction, economic development, resi resiliency work, Increasing, increasing the tourism dollars and the tourism activity now. We think we're doing everything we can uh, to help the region, and I'm very proud of it. And again, I want to thank the legislature. I want to thank the Attorney General for coming out. She is a monster fisher person. <laughs> she, uh, I knew she was tenacious. I knew she was a fighter. But you have not seen anything until you have seen her versus a king salmon on the line. <laughs> that king salmon had no chance. Uh, and uh, it was a beauty, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, and it was just a, a perfect uh, special day. So I want to thank the Attorney General for coming up. Uh, she made it special. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce Attorney General Tish James. So first, you, you only get one chance to make a first good impression, so allow me to apologize for my attire. Um, the governor invited me to this fishing expedition, and I decided to dress accordingly. 
And so hopefully in my next visit to Oswego, I will dress uh, to impress. Um, I'm not a stranger to Oswego. My brother happens to live here. Um, and so I have visited him, him in the past. And I know when he sees me on TV this evening, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> so I want to thank Governor Cuomo for bringing us together. And of course, I want to thank Mayor Barlow for hosting us. And I want to thank the members of government and the legislature uh, for being here today. The governor and I enjoyed a great morning on uh, Great Lake Ontario, an experience we encourage all New Yorkers to share. And we caught this big salmon, well, I did, and I think, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I, I just want to uh, thank the captain. I want to thank Eric uh, for all that they did in training me and providing me with guidance. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Kevin, Eric, a round of applause. <laughs> So we know that New Yorkers in this region have been facing some difficult times recently, issues that have certainly caused economic pain and pose a serious threat to lakefront properties. But we also know about the resi resiliency of this region and our great state, and that is why we are here today. Lake Ontario is one of the true wonders of North America, and we are so lucky to have the ability to enjoy it all, uh, to enjoy it. Um, and a visit to these glimmering waters and their majestic surroundings puts us in touch with the healing powers of nature and allows me to forget all of the litigation that I am involved in and all of the problems that we are facing. Uh, Lake Ontario is a beautiful natural wonder that enriches the landscape and the lives of all who come here. And I urge all New Yorkers to come north and to visit Lake Ontario and to, uh, again, go fishing and to charter boats um, and to uh, be a part of the economic development and the economic revitalization of this area. You know, the governor once said um, that uh, when it comes to vacation, there was no need to leave the great state of New York, and he is absolutely right. If you want to take a vacation, you can come here to Lake Ontario. If you want to go fishing, you can come here. If you want to go camping or go to the beach or go skiing, New York really has it all. And this investment uh, that the governor is making will really go a long way towards ensuring that New Yorkers throughout the state are reminded of the diversity of our landscape and all the riches that it has to offer. So I want to thank the governor. I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank the members of the legislature and all the elected officials who have assembled here. I just want to thank you for this great day. Um, and uh, again, it underscores how great our state truly is. But I do also, um, I'm mindful that we, um, um, have to do something to mitigate the damages of the flooding, uh, of the erosion. It's really critically important. And as the Attorney General of the State of New York, we're looking at all options um, at this point in time. It obviously is impacting, um, this, it, has, it has social impacts and human impacts, it has economic impacts, and um, we're in the business of getting things done. And so I hope and I look forward to working with each and every one of you um, as we try to resolve some of these issues um, and the conditions on the ground affecting countless number of New Yorkers. And so um, it's a great day here to be in Oswego, and I look forward to meeting with each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. And the attire's fine. We were on a boat called Instead of Working. Yes. <laughs> so this is our Instead of Working attire. Uh, I want to thank again uh, Bill Scriber for the hospitality of the port and uh, for all the good work that he's doing. Uh, and again, Brian Mangdalao and um, Will Barkley and Patty Ritchie. The $300 million investment, that is a very big deal. Uh, I can't think of the last time the state made that large an investment uh, in one region uh, uh, in upstate New York. And it was needed, but it was difficult to do. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> 